Are you making the most out of your web presence? In today's tech training, I'll be demonstrating four features that will help you rock your Squarespace site. Stay tuned. So we are here in the back end of my Squarespace site and the first little tip I wanna show you is the announcement bar. So right now it's not here, but it will be an area at the top of my site where I can make an announcement, call someone to an action that I want them to do. So we're gonna go over here to the design tab and then we're going to click announcement bar. So you can see right now the announcement bar is disabled, but if I click enable announcement bar, I now have a bar at the top and you can see the last thing that I wrote in the bar. So, you know, two spots left in my Lux branding web design, click here to learn more. So basically people can click there and then I choose here what I want it to link to. So right now it's linking to my design services page. You can choose from all the pages on your Squarespace site that you'd want it to link to. If it's something that's outside of your site, like a link that you want to put in there, you know, it could be www.google.com. I don't, I don't know why you would have that, but whatever outside link you wanted to, you could have it open up in a new window, just like that. So I'm going to stick with the uh, design services page for mine. And all I would do is hit save. So now that bar is up there and ready to go. If you wanted it to go away again, you could just hit disable announcement bar, save, and go back. Another trick I wanted to show you guys was the Lightbox form sign up form. So notice on my website here, if I want people to sign up for my freebie, I have a three day course, make your website irresistible. Sometimes people have a full sign up form with the name and email address right here so people know right out that you want them to sign up for an email address. Well, that apparently does not get as many signups as you want it to. According to lead pages, when they change their form to a button that you have to click that pops up into a form, it increased their leads by 60%. So it's called a two-step opt-in. Very simple, just instead of having a form outright, it's a button that pops up into a form. So Squarespace has this as a very easy option. I'm just gonna show you really quick how that's done. So. I'm going to go to a page on my site that's just uh, not open to the public so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to edit this page by hovering over the page and hitting edit. And so what we want to do is add a form to the website. So all I did was hit one of these droppers to insert something into the website and we're looking for the form. It's right here. So you can see right out that the entire form is visible which is not necessarily what we want right now. Uh, and we only want the name and email address to be asked for. So I'm hitting the trash can on the other things that it was asking for. I'm going to go over to advanced here and scroll to the bottom. And you see here it says enable light box mode. So when I click that, now there's just a button. And when people click the button, it will pop up into what is called a light box or a form. And we can even choose what we want the button to say. So sign me up, that kind of thing. Uh, another thing we need to do is under storage, we need to choose how we want this linked up to our site, basically. So if you're using MailChimp, Squarespace has an extremely easy connection to MailChimp so that when people sign up on this form, it goes to your MailChimp account and allows people to get that freebie that you're offering. So if I click MailChimp here, you can see that we can just log in And I'm using my old account. And we can even choose what list. So let's say it's the, if you would have a name of the list of the freebie that you're giving out. So let's say this is my Lux brand training. So that is all set. We can even choose if we want the button to be left, center, or right. So if I want it to be in the center, I can apply it right there. So that's how you do a light box form. If I hit save and just reload the page real quick. We can click and there's the pop-up form just like that. So that's how you are able to do a light box form. Another little Squarespace feature that I wanted to show is the pre-footer of the website. So scrolling all the way down to the bottom of my site here, I have an area called a pre-footer. Now this is obviously a pre-footer because it's before the actual footer of the site, but it appears on every page on the website. So if we go to my about page, and scroll to the bottom, 
there it is. The free footers on every page. And I use this as one last call to action to let people know what I want them to do on the site, the action that I'm asking them to do on the site. So it pretty much gives you that one last call to action on every single page. And as you can see, I'm using it for my Make Your Website Irresistible course. So it's another light box form where people click it and they can sign up. So the last thing I want to show you on Squarespace are what we call cover pages. And I really like to say that these are the pièce de résistance of Squarespace because it is just such an easy way to be able to get up quick pages on Squarespace without a lot of design experience. So this is an example of a cover page that we have here. This was a free website optimization guide that I did on Squarespace. And I want to let you know that this page only took about 10 minutes to create. So I'm just going to the full screen mode so you can kind of see what it looks like there. And we're going to just make a quick cover page in Squarespace so I can show you how quickly this is done. So I'm going to add this to my not linked area so it doesn't end up in the menu of my site. I'm going to hit the plus and I'm going to choose cover page. So we're just going to call it new cover page for now. And you can see that we have an option of many layouts to choose from. I always like this side by side because it's pretty good with mobile. It, look, it looks good on the mobile website as well. So that's what the template looks like. We're going to be able to pretty much edit everything about that. So I'm going to go to branding and text here and you can choose to have your text logo here. So I can just have my name at the top or if I click logo, I can upload my logo. And drop it in there and there goes the logo. We can also change the headline here. So something quick, download my free guide and we'll be able to change all these fonts to go with the brand as well. And the body here. Check out my book more brides guide. You could also you could add more to this if you wanted. You could add bullet points, you know. About. So this just gives you a good idea of what the type of things that you can type in here. Moving on to the next part, we can also edit media. So that's the large image that's right here. So let's say I'm going to just choose an image to upload here. So I'm just uploading a quick stock photo that I have of someone typing on their laptop. Let's say we don't like the position that that image is there. Maybe I want those hands in there. Notice that when I hover over the picture, there's a little dot. That's the focal point of the image. So if we scoot it over here, because we want those hands more prominent, and then hit save there, reload. You can see that the hands show up more prominently there in the image. Uh, also, we can edit the action. So what do we want this button down here to do? Let's say we want people to sign up for that freebie like we did last time. I'm going to trash the one that's there now. Shop. And we're going to make a form here. So I'm going to go edit form. And just like we did with the previous form, I'm going to get rid of subject, get rid of the message. And... I'm going to name the form because that they will be able to see that. Uh, and I'm just going to connect it to my MailChimp like I did before. And choose a list and save. We'll also choose a label for that button, say. Sign up now and save. Now, where the magic happens, style. So we can basically edit all the things that we want here to make it look more on brand for us. So let's say I want to change the font of the headline here. Um, I use a font called Bodoni. So that changes there. And pretty much doing the same thing throughout. Um, I use a body font called Playfair. 
right there display and you can see it there we can edit more things about it like if I think the letters are spacing too much take them down one there we go and we can make the font larger smaller just like that you can even change the color if you wanted to change the color you can see how that changes I'm good with the, the black color for now uh, going to the button we can change the font of the button I want it to be something more on brand. I'll drop that in there. We can make the button, instead of an outline button, how it is now, I like it to be a solid color button. We can change the colors, all of that good stuff. We can even change the social icon colors down at the bottom. So there's a lot of options here that you can do, and I didn't even really touch all of them. I mean, you can make things be placed on the right instead of the left. We can make things be right aligned, all kinds of fun things. Um, you could change the background color, color behind the text, because you see it's white now. If we wanted to make it pink, I can do all that fun stuff. Nice. So I'll hit save, and as you can see, in under 10 minutes, we were basically able to make our own sign-up page for a freebie or anything like that. So Squarespace has some really awesome things in place to optimize your site for more clients, more email subscribers, and that's why I really love it. So I hope you appreciated this, and you guys have a great day.